Hey, welcome to the video. Uh, we're gonna get straight into this. This is gonna be a demonstration of the Insta 361R and the selfie stick that goes with it. Um, which is pretty cool. You just screw that into there. Um, and as you can see, it extends out and you just turn it to lock. I thought it was really good. Um, but as you'll see in the video, um, there were some real problems with this. I'm not gonna tell you what it was, I wanna see who spots it and uh, how quickly you can spot it, because it does emerge quite quickly in the video and it gets worse and worse and worse. So, um, let's just roll the video. So here we are, as promised, at the bottom of Roundton Hill. Um, I've got the 361R and we're gonna run up the hill and see what it's like for stabilization, low light and those sorts of things. It's not raining anymore. Uh, the camera's waterproof, I hear, but uh, it's not raining anymore, so that won't be a problem for us. Um, so let's switch to the 360 camera and see how it goes. Okay, looks like we're rolling. I'm not sure what the sound's like on this thing. Um, but yeah, we're basically basically ready to go. It's pretty slippery here, but I've got these beasts on, so I should be okay. This is a steep bit. Any of the local runners will be laughing at me doing this. It's funny, see these? There's a sort of spot in the center of this lens. Not sure what it is, it won't wipe off. It's in the center of the both sides. Oh well, let's carry on. It's funny that, see that spot in the centre, it's following me wherever we go. Looks like moisture or something. I'll take a picture when we get down to the bottom. Very strange. That was really hard. But looking at the camera, I think there's some big problems. There's some sort of moisture on the inside, on both sides. That's what it looks like to me. That's You can see it on, this, on the screen, that sort of cloud area. That's on the inside of the lens. So we'll have a look, hold on. I'm um, back to the van now, and it looks like we've got big problems. Not just with my health, but also with the camera. Um, We'll have a look when we get back, but it looks like there was moisture in it from the cold outside. Um, because when I got back to the van, it, it, it sort of disappeared, because um, it's a bit warmer in here. So let's uh, go back to HQ and have a look. 
So some of the things that I thought about this, a lot of wind noise, um, a lot of noise in the, in the shadows, um, but again, it's an action camera and it was quite a dark evening. I, I sort of did that on purpose to see what it could do. So as you could see, uh, moisture developed in just the tip of the lens here and the tip of the lens there on both sides, exactly the same on each side. Um, I've used um, action cameras and things before in much worse conditions and there was none of that. I'll put the picture up just here and you can see this is with the moisture and then this is straight away afterwards after we got into the warm van. Really strange. If you know why that happened, just comment below. I, 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 I can learn something, I think. But, I mean, what's this for? This camera. I think that I'm gonna use it for exactly what I just used it for. Not running all the time. I'm not gonna do that again for a while. You can't really put a lot of landscapes and a lot of locations into a photograph. You can try, but I actually think that this really captures the, the sort of atmosphere of the location pretty nicely. Um, so I think I'm actually just going to use this for when I'm out and about, except instead of running, I'll be walking sensibly. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe and do all the things that you're supposed to do to YouTube videos. Thank you very much.